How do you do, ladies and gentlemen? I'm Fahey Flynn. Here's the latest at 6 o'clock. There are still no real clues on the burglars who stole a two-ton safe from a jewel food store at 6239 South Archer in Chicago. Police say burglars got into the store through the roof, opened a back garage door, and drove in a large truck sometime during the night. Reporter Sheila Stainback has more on the story. The Jewel store was open part of the day Sunday, but sometime after it closed, the burglars hit. Reports are not yet official, but Jewel officials believe the burglars made off with as much as $60,000 in weekend receipts. Apparently, those involved climbed at the back of the store in the early morning hours, chopping a hole in the roof. In this way, they were able, investigators theorize, to circumvent the store's burglar alarm system and thus take their time in looking for the safe. Police theorize this forklift truck figured prominently in the burglary. Apparently, the thieves either stole it or rented it under a false name. At any rate, police believe they used it to hoist the safe into the vehicle in which they made their getaway. Officials at Jewel refused to comment or to let us in to film the former location of the safe. Police, meanwhile, are continuing their investigation. Sheila Stainback, Channel 7 Eyewitness News on South Archer Avenue. A 14-car freight train derailed just south of Westport in LaPorte County, Indiana. This morning, crews began with Baltimore and Ohio spokesman said would be a three-day cleanup operation. The freight was empty except for two cars carrying a load of steel. The train was going about 50 miles an hour when it left the tracks. The cause of the derailment not yet known. Fortunately, none of the train's crew was injured who drilled their way into a jewel food store this morning and drove away with a two-ton safe containing thousands of dollars. Al Dale has the details. Police said they got an anonymous phone call at 4.10 this morning, the caller saying someone was burglarizing the jewel food store at 6239 South Archer Avenue. Investigation showed a safe had been removed, and in the process, records and other material in the office area had been put in disarray. Police said the burglars circumvented the alarm system, went up on the roof and chopped through it, went down into the office area and found the safe. By using a lift truck, they brought it to the back door where a truck was waiting to carry it away. The store was a few minutes late opening this morning, and when customers were let in, store officials made it clear reporters and camera crews would have to remain outside. As to what happened, how the all right, can you give us some information as to what happened, how the entrance was gained, and that sort of thing? No, I can't. I have to get it from the police. All those parts don't want me to say nothing about it. Why? They just said get it from the police. Or dual security. Just how much money was in the safe was not determined immediately. First reports put the amount at about $60,000 in cash. Jewel officials were conducting a check of weekend receipts. Al Dale, Channel 2 News. While most Chicagoans were at home today, many of them watching the parades and the bowl games, some bargain hunters went shopping. Burley Hines has that report. It's usually one of the busiest places in the country, State Street. But on this day after New Year's, it looks almost abandoned. With the stores closed, and the main attraction, the moving display of Christmas past in Carson's window. This is what happens when New Year's is on a Sunday. Even that magnificent mile has little action. There are signs, however, sales signs, that give...